Today we're going to talk about how to swing the golf club as we get older. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And as we get older, there's a lot of factors we have to consider. Balance, lack of flexibility, uh, lack of strength, lack of speed. But the truth of the matter is, is that we can still play some great golf as we get older. Matter of fact, a lot of my students are playing the best golf of their life as they're getting older. And today I want to share with you what I'm doing to help them play some great golf because I know it's going to help you as well. Now, hey, if you haven't already, be sure to join the family here at US Golf TV. And you know what? I really appreciate it. I appreciate it when you subscribe and also when you ring that bell so you get notifications. And I love it when you comment. I respond to all those comments because I'm here to help you play better golf. Now let's dive right into this. We're going to talk about three things here, three things that we can do as we get older, senior golfers, to still play some great golf. And at the end, I'm going to give you a wonderful drill that I give all of my senior golfers to help them create some more club head speed. So the first thing you got to understand is, is that a lot of golf instruction, good instruction, is based around what's happening with the best players in the world. Now the best players in the world, they're young, they're strong, they can move, they can do things that we could only dream of doing. But what I have designed is what I like to call the vertical line swing system. Vertical line swing system. Now why is that important? Because it's specifically designed for the older golfer. And the first thing that we're gonna talk about is how we set up as we get older. So we know this. Our balance doesn't get better as we get older. So what can we do? Well, first of all, what you can do, and I've got my live view set up here. All right, got it down the line, because I'm gonna talk about some tips on down the line here with my live view. I love working with live view. But the first thing we can do as we get older is we can widen our stance out a little bit, okay? When I widen my stance out, I feel like I have more balance than when my feet are close together. Okay, we know that from just naturally in life, right? Walking on a balance beam is a heck of a lot harder than walking down a sidewalk, all right? But when we swing the golf club, a little bit wider stance can give us that sense of security and balance. So that's the first suggestion, is take your stance and widen it out. The second thing that I would say is take your toes, and I think this is a good tip for all golfers, but especially senior golfers, is to point your toes out. When you have a little bit wider base and you have your toes flared out, you're gonna naturally feel more comfortable. You're gonna feel solid and you know, basically like I can stand here and swing the golf club. We're not gonna do anything fast when we don't feel like we're in balance. All right, I mean think about it, driving a car. If the, if the roads are icy and snowy and slippery, you're not going to drive faster, you're going to drive slower. Same thing's going to happen in your golf swing. If you don't feel like you have balance, okay, your body's going to naturally slow down. So that's the first thing that I would say. Let's talk a little bit about the golf swing though. What can we do in the golf swing to help us make good solid contact? So the first thing is, we know we don't have more mobility, so we've got to add some movement. We've got to add some rotation. So this is, got the live view set up here down the line. I love this product. I use it with all my lessons. I've got this red line. We're going to talk about the blue line in a second. Notice where the red line is at? Right off my trail pocket, right there, okay? Now, when we swing the golf club, as a senior golfer, we want to feel like we really turn our hips. So notice how when I turn my hips, my right hip moves back into that red line, okay? You can see it from down the line there in the live view. So I'm set up here. As I turn, my hips work back into that. Now, why is that important? Well, because if my hips turn more, that allows me to turn my shoulders more, allows me to get length to the golf swing, and with length to the golf swing, two things happen. Number one is you get more distance. It's a proven fact. A little bit longer swing, all things being equal, assuming we hit the ball in the center of the face, longer swing is gonna give you more distance. The second thing, and this is what a lot of instructors don't share with you, is it's wonderful for your rhythm and your tempo. Okay, I see this all the time. I see golfers, especially as they get older, they lose flexibility, they've been told to restrict their hip turn. I don't know, this might not be bad advice, but it's bad advice for a senior golfer, right? Okay, because they don't have flexibility. And then their swing gets super short, and then they say, I'm really rushing my swing, Todd. I just, I'm going faster and faster. And I'm, a lot of times I'm like, well, we gotta get some length to your swing so you get some rhythm and some tempo. So that's the first tip on the swing is let those hips turn. Now, here's a good checkpoint for you. Okay, here's a good checkpoint for you. As you turn, 
See, I got some daylight between my legs right there. Lead knee's got a little bit of flex. Trail knee has lost a little bit of flex. Okay, so they have equal. You can see it down the line with live view, right? Same flex. Let's just say it's, I don't know, 25 degrees for sake of discussion. Doesn't matter. Okay, I feel athletic. As I go, I've added a little bit of flex. Now I'm maybe at 35 degrees, and I've taken some away. Maybe I'm at 10. Now, that's a great checkpoint. And if you look, if you're watching this video, <laughs> you, look at, you go back and look at some of the greatest golfers of all time and, what, and, and look at their lower body. And I will bet dollars to donuts that when you look at them at the top of their swing, you're going to see this look. Okay? Conventional coaching, a lot of traditional coaching will tell you to restrict the hip turn, keep the right knee flexed. Okay? I'm not saying that's bad coaching. I'm saying that's bad coaching for you the senior golfer. So that's the, that's the first thing on the swing that I want you to be doing. So that's a little bit on setup. Got a little wider stance, toes out. Let's feel solid, connected to the ground. It's going to give us some sense of calm, allow us to swing a little bit faster. Number two, let's get some hip turn. Use that checkpoint. You got your live view. Move into it, see some daylight. Now, let's talk about the direction of the swing. Because this just happened to me this week. I'm giving some lessons down in Arizona. Working with this guy, John, he, he is classic senior golfer, okay? No hip turns, some of these things we talked about. And I gave him those things, he started hitting the ball better. But what really clicked with them is when we started talking about this vertical line idea, this concept, all right? And what I had him do, and this is where the blue line is going to come in, okay? He said in here, I said, hey, John, when you take that club back, and we did it first of all with no club, and this is what I would suggest you to do. Okay, notice where the blue line is at, just above my shoulder. Swing your arms back and just get your hands on that blue line. Boom. Okay, and he's like, wow. Okay, that feels free, said Todd. It feels like I've got some length and I feel like I've got some power. Okay, and I'm like, well, that's because of the direction you're swinging it. What he had been doing and what he had been told to do, which once again, I'm not saying it's bad coaching, but it's bad coaching for a senior golfer. That's the distinction here is he had been told to get his hands low and around. Okay, now just look at that. You can see it from live view right there. Now, that's, that's all I got. I got my, that's all I got for length of swing. How in the heck am I going to hit a good golf shot from here? It's just not going to happen. But if I don't do anything with my hips, my knees, but all I do is I raise my arm, look at that. Wow, look at the length of swing I gain by just literally changing the direction of my arm. Okay, and that is the tip that I want to give you here in terms of the armor. This is gold right here. This is going to help you play better golf and get some distance. So when you swing it back, okay, get your arm up there. So I always do a little three setter, a little one. There we go. I just feel it without a club. Now I got to add some hip turn. That feels better. I added some hip turn. Do you see that there? There's the daylight. You can see the daylight right there, right? Okay, then I'm going to grab a club. I'm going to hit a shot. Okay, that felt pretty good. A little bit on the toe but it felt pretty solid. So those, that's set up, hip turn, lead arm. Now, I want to give you one drill here for some speed because, hey, just because we're getting older doesn't mean we can't do something fast. So let's talk about that. This is what I call the baseball drill. Now, the reason I call it the baseball drill is because we use the reference of a baseball field. Left field, center field, right field, right? Okay, so everybody knows that. You've been to baseball games. You're going to take your stance and your feet and you're going to aim your feet to right field. There's center field, left field. I'm going to aim them over to right field. Okay, you can see that from down the line with live view. Notice that. Now, when you swing the club, you're going to swing the club up and towards right field, and you're going to kind of hold your hips. Okay? Now, this, this, is, going to, this is going to work fantastic. So let me do a three-setter. You know me. I love my three-setters. Here we go. There's one. There's two. There's three, and I'm going to tell you why this is gold and why this works every single time. All right, it's going to blow your mind. Here we go. Forward, let's hit it. All right, good. That was a little thin, I'm not going to lie, but I had some more speed to it. So you might be asking yourself, what in the heck and why does that work? Well, let's tie it together. Let's tie it all together. Okay? When I sit in there like that with the baseball drill, the answer is kind of wide aim. What immediately happens? Look at the daylight. Look at the daylight between my legs. Remember we just talked about that because of the hip turn? When I get my lead foot forward, my trail hook 
my foot back, what happens to my hips? They're already turned, okay? They're already turned, okay? Look at that right there. That is just fantastic. And then what naturally happens with my arm? It just goes right here. Look at that position right there. Look at the space between my knees. Look at where my lead arm is at. Look at my hip turn. I can hit golf shots from here with some speed and some power. I don't care how old I am, all right? Look at that compared to the old traditional system. Not a bad system, just bad for senior golfers. Square, look at that. Now you tell me, who's gonna hit a better golf shot when they're 60 years old? This guy or this guy? It's hands down, you know what the answer is. So these tips are specifically for you, the senior golfer. If you do these, it's gonna definitely help you out. Be sure to leave comments, be sure to leave some suggestions because I love hearing from you. And next time you head to the golf course, if you're what I like to call an experienced golfer, Take these tips to the golf course and you're going to start seeing some better shots.